<laughs> Is this working? Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's good to see so many people here today, including relatives of the prisoners of war who suffered on the Lisbon Maru, as well as representatives of their various service associations. Also, members of the Chinese Embassy in London, who will meet us later over lunch, have provided a wreath to be laid on behalf of the people of Zhou Shan to pay tribute to the memory of all the victims. After the service, a complimentary lunch will be available in Aspects, the main catering hall. Entry is for ticket holders only. Those without tickets will be able to take advantage of the catering facilities in the main building. The reason we're here is to remember the individuals who suffered on the Lisbon Maru. They were individuals. Everyone had a mother and a father and has been lovingly remembered by his relatives. And they did suffer. The memorial is specifically dedicated to the memory of the 828 poor souls who perished in the sinking. But all the 1,816 men who were on the ship suffered and should also be remembered, including the more than 200 who died later in captivity, and even those who survived the war. Many suffering trauma for years afterwards, some for the rest of their lives. We should remember in particular those men of the Royal Artillery in the third hold who spent a day and a night exhausting themselves pumping out water in the grimmest of conditions, doing their best to delay the inevitable end for the ship, many of whom were unable to save themselves and after all their efforts went down with the ship. In the words of one of their survivors, John Bowen, when you tell the story, never forget to quote the heroes of the middle hold who kept the ship afloat. Remember those gallant gunners who gave all that they could give. True to their old tradition, they died that others may live. And we should also remember and pay tribute to the incredible courage of the Chinese fishermen from Zhoshan who between them rescued nearly 400 POWs and hid three of them in a cave under the noses of the Japanese army, all at very great risk to themselves. Some two and a half thousand years ago, the Chinese soldier, politician and philosopher Sun Tzu wrote The Art of War, a work which has influenced political and military leaders ever since right up to modern times. More recently, about 200 years ago, the Prussian general, Karl von Clausewitz, updated military and political thinking in his work on war, which he said was too important to be left to generals, describing it as the continuation of policy with other means. Regardless of the experience and wisdom of these two great intellectuals, I am more impressed by the unsophisticated and very clear analysis by the 98-year-old William Benningfield, formerly a private in the Middlesex Regiment, who fought bravely in the battle for Hong Kong and later survived the Lisbon Maru and years of incarceration in POW camps. In 2018, a couple of years before he died, when being interviewed for the documentary film, The Sinking of the Lisbon Maru, he said simply, war is a filthy, dirty business.
we begin our service by, if you wish to, or if you can, standing to sing, Eternal Father, strong to save. <laughs> we gather we pray for those scarred by this tragic episode of war and for those who grieve still the loss of loved ones we come seeking your gift of peace and reconciliation for us and for those places where violence conflict cruelty and bloodshed are found today and in doing so commit ourselves to work and pray for justice mercy and peace for all people Amen. Let us confess to God the sins and shortcomings of the world, its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil divisions and hatreds. Let us confess our sharing what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for his children. And we say together, most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. 
In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The lesson is taken from 1 Peter, chapter 3, verses 8 to 18. Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to do this you are called so that you may inherit a blessing. For whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats, do not be frightened, but in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I didn't know much about this place until I started doing the service for the Hong Kong police. Under the memorial over there, when we finished, we now come over to here each time and remember those from the Hong Kong police, the fall of Hong Kong and all that the Lisbon Maru is. And you know, those words, was a filthy, dirty business. It is. And it's strange because sometimes the people that you may think of as the enemy, different from us, are the ones in this story who, as fishermen, came and showed a common humanity that until then had been lacking so greatly. This whole episode is one that makes you harken back to, in my head, at least the 1418 war and the founding of the Geneva and other conventions of treating competence rightly doing what we're called to do. Those of you who've served in days gone by, um, gone by <clears throat> selfish, selfless commitment, not selfish commitment, is the hallmark. These guys from the, and the word UBK comes very real, doesn't it, when you think of them pumping and trying to keep this vessel afloat. But selfless commitment, respect for others, loyalty, you think, okay, integrity, yeah, we can do that. Discipline and courage, all are found in this story, all are found in the Lisbon Maru, all are found in so many of the battles that are commemorated around this place. And as I stand here every year with people who remember names from the Hong Kong police, as I stand here with people who come and tell me stories one remarkable one of a man who never lost a boxing match and at 70 when mugged, he's one of the survivors from this vessel, when mugged, decked the two 20-year-olds, broke one's nose and left the other one unconscious. <laughs> you know, we go where we should never go, we see what we should never see and we do what no one should be asked to do. For my grandfather who was gassed on the Eep salient, a Dutch-speaking man who ended up in a kilt for reasons I will never understand. War 
is full of strange encounters, strange comrade ships, awful quirks of fate. And I read about a month ago now that another vessel like this one we're commemorating today has been found, also sunk by an American submarine. And the story is it's never going to be a war grave because it's owned by the Americans because they sank it. You know, ownership is in the eye of those who remember. Ownership is in those who pay homage to those on the ship, those who perish, those who perish later as prisoners of war. And those who came back marked by this. This is fitting that the sun is shining because it deserves the sun shine today on those we remember as we pray that God's light will. So often we say, may they rest in peace and rise in glory. And there's that element of fingers crossed. But we go and we do, and they did. And they paid, many of them, the ultimate price. And we come to remember war is indeed a bloody, awful, terrible thing to do. And as we come, we commend them to the care grace and mercy of God and we commend ourselves to him that we may look for peace that we may do justice show mercy and live in humility as Micah the Old Testament prophet asks us to do so we are going to make these words real in this act of remembrance that we now embark upon we will honor we will remember and we will vow to be different because of their sacrifice. Would you please stand? God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we, we will remember, remember them.
We're going to lay the official reeds and then I'm going to invite those with memorials and markers to come out and lay theirs. Will you please sit? When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today.
Teach us, good Lord, to serve thee as thou deserves, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds of war, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to ask for any reward save that of knowing that we do thy will. Let us pray for all who continue to suffer as a result of conflict, asking that God may give them peace and strengthen them in their struggles. We pray especially for those who, having lost loved ones, continue to experience grief in the sadness of their loss, and for those scarred by conflict and injured in body, mind and spirit, needing a touch from you, Lord. We pray for all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, thinking of family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return. We pray for peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, and for all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military, <clears throat> and religious asking for the gifts of wisdom and resolving the search for reconciliation and peace. Amen. God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future. You are the source of life and hope now and forever. Amen. And trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who dost everywhere lead thy people in the way of righteousness, Vouchsafe so to lead the Royal Regiment of Artillery that wherever we serve, on land or sea or in the air, we may win the glory of doing thy will. Amen. As we prepare to leave this place, let us commit ourselves to responsible living and faithful service. Will you strive for all that makes for peace? We will. Will you seek to heal the wounds of war? We, we will. will. Will you work for a just future for all humanity? We, we will. will. Merciful God, we offer to you the fears in us that have not yet been cast out by love. May we accept the hope you have placed in the hearts of all people and live lives of justice, courage and mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Redeemer. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the King, the Commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. In the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and those you love now and always. Amen. Please stand for the National Anthem. <coughs> the tune anyway. <laughs> God save our gracious King, long live our noble King, God save the King. Send him victorious, happy and glorious, long to Yeah.
Thank you, everyone. That concludes the service. Uh, for those who haven't seen the memorial, you might like to walk around the back where the brief account of the story of the sinking of the Lisbon Maru is written on the back with the details of how many suffered and died as a result of being on the ship. Thank you all for coming again. See you at lunch. Well done. Thank you very much.